Actually. Well, a young man saw some tennis courts in Brooklyn that weren't being used for tennis, so he took matters into his own hands. Now kids are gaining a new skill and a new outlook on life. Bedford Stuyvesant in Brooklyn, New York, has had a tough reputation for years. But on these tennis courts in the middle of the projects, look at the courts right now. Michael McCaslin is doing something unexpected. He's taken a sport often found in private clubs and he's teaching it to kids right off the street. Stay on that court because you just got to keep working and work your way up. The 30 year old right. from North Carolina okay. moved else? to Brooklyn for his job as a forensic scientist. Every day he would walk by this tennis court and every day he would think the same thing. There's a bunch of kids who live around here who probably don't play tennis, and we've got a tennis court right here. I mean, the court itself is not in the best condition. It's gotten worse over time. Of course, we originally said, wait, there's no net, it's a fence. But it's perfect because it doesn't break down. Michael's perfect court back. led to this imperfect flyer. McCaslin offered tennis lessons on Saturdays in the Marcy Projects for free. Then he posted it around the neighborhood. So I came out on the first day. You came Nobody. out with gear? With, yeah, with, I had uh, you know, a couple of balls that I had paid for on my own and some rackets that I had. Nobody showed up. So then I literally just stood on the corner, walked down the street, and I said, and I passed out flyers. So we'll His program right grew quickly. We'll have all of our kids with our wristbands. In just we'll four started. years, so four recently he got a $50,000 grant from a local chapter of the United States Tennis Association. Now, on any given Saturday, the program has up to 120 kids playing across courts in four different projects. The secret to a good grip is putting your left hand first. Okay. Nine-year-old David Villanueva has Show come almost every forehand. Saturday for the past two years. What do you think you'd be doing today if it wasn't for this? Um, I think I would just be at home chilling. What do you want to do with tennis? But I want to become a professional one day. Be one of the people who end up in the Olympics and play as a professional. Parents like Felipe Lopez say his daughter, Yasmin, didn't even know what tennis was. But when she saw other kids playing right next to her house, she not only asked to sign up, she demanded an all pink tennis outfit. Tennis is something that not so many people are playing right now in the neighborhood, and she probably can get somewhere with it. If her, her love for the sport ended up growing, she might end up like Serena and Venus. Exposure to tennis isn't the only thing happening on these courts. There is exposure to a different life. The volunteers are lawyers and consultants and PR reps. Here, they add mentor to their title. Some of represent China. The kids learn other aspects of life and their world will expand. They learn what's possible. When you stand back now and you look at how big it's gotten, mm -hmm. what goes through your head? It's amazing. You have a good idea that brings people together. You can do anything. And Michael got a chance to take some of those kids who had never heard of tennis to the U.S. Open. Terrific. 